Hey everybody, Jay-Z Crazy here. I just had a weird thought. I was just wondering what would happen if one day I opened up the closet and like a rabid cat jumped out at me. Or my girlfriend Lisa. Wouldn't that be strange? What the hell? Have random thoughts? Okay, I admit that one wasn't mine at all. Uh, no, it was Lisa mine. just said that. Yeah. 30 seconds ago before we started. Wouldn't it be funny if one day I opened up the closet and a rabid cat just jumped out at me? <laughs> Why would you even think that? <laughs> what happens in your brain to make you think of such things? Well, you open the closet. Yeah. And then we have a cat. I open the closet and we have a cat. That's all it took, <laughs> folks. That's all there was to it. And all of a sudden, the insanity begins. <laughs> Would you like to enlighten people with any other thoughts you may have? Because these are fascinating. What's the next one? Sometimes. A penis might come out of the oven one day? No. Because it's long and it looks like something that should be baked? No, I don't think those things. No, now you're just crazy. No. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, that's the name of the channel. Hello? Looney Bins? Oh, you want to talk to Lisa? Hold on. Here, it's for you. Sometimes. It's the insane asylum. Some, sometimes when I'm in a vehicle, um, for some reason I think the door might open and I might just fall out. And if you're in a vehicle, you think the door might open and fall out? You know, I, I might think about crazy out. things too. I've actually thought about driving before and then just driving off the road into a pole or something. No, I've never thought of that. I think about all kinds of crazy shit. But I always think the door's going to accidentally open and I'm going to tumble out and cars will hit me. But I don't do it. Well, I mean, I think of things that I... Uh, people are animals that I love. Right? And I've always thought, what if I did something crazy to them? What the fuck? What? <laughs> You know, Why I've would actually, you think that shit? I've actually thought about, hmm, my cat. What would happen if I sawed his head off? Like, what would happen to He'd him? He'd die. I know he would die, but what would the process be like? Would he run around with his head cut off oh, yeah, before he died? Just look on the internet for that nonsense and you see it. And I love animals. I would never do that. I love myself. I would never drive off the road. See, this is the difference between people who are sane and people who are insane. Sane people may think of these things just because they have a kind of thought process where they think of all kinds of crazy things they would never actually do. But insane people actually, actually think these things and do them and follow through with it. That's what makes you crazy. Now I'm Jay-Z crazy, but I'm crazy in a funny, zany, kooky way that's harmless to everybody, right. including animals. You just fly into the floor and crush your nuts. What else have I thought? Driving into walls. Yeah, I've thought about driving into things. Cutting heads off. Oh. Um. Stabbing people. Yeah, you should never play video games. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, I think. I think it all stems from video games. No. I just want to win in video games. And when you play a video game, usually you're shooting. You're stabbing, you're cutting. Yeah. I need a video game system. No, no, you don't need... See, you're already having the crazy thoughts. I play right. those games and I... But I've had these thoughts my whole life. That's crazy. I've never harmed a fly. Thank okay, you. a fly. <laughs> you kill spiders left and right. <laughs> if I see a spider on the wall that I think is going to kill me overnight, and yeah, that, that, I'll take care of the problem. That's every spider. You think that every spider... There's poisonous spiders. I don't feel like getting bit and I'm getting some kind of disease or God only knows what can happen when you get bit by the wrong kind of spider. So yeah, in those instances, I may actually kill the insect. But I've had times where I don't want to do that. I've taken an insect in a little jar and I've opened up the window and thrown him outside. And he dies. It all depends on my mood. That's yeah, all it is. It just depends on how you want to kill him, right? Because if you do that... They land, and their shell breaks. They die. That's sad. Yep. There was once a bee. I think it was a bee. I'm not sure. What it was? But when I was growing up, 
I used to have these things that used to stick to the outside of my window on the screen at night, on warm summer nights. And That's I don't even think there were actually bees. Those aren't bees. But I they were fat. Yes. They were big. Yep. They were noisy. Yep. And they would stick to my screen and like they'd like to watch what the hell I was doing. Right. I don't know. Like maybe they like the light. Even, but even when I turned the light off, they, they would just still, still stay there on the outside of the screen. I used to knock them off the screen. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had times where I flicked them off the screen because they were being annoying. And one time I never will forget that I feel bad about to this day. I took a pin. No, you stabbed it? I took a pin and I just put it through the thing. And my brother did Then he dropped, he dropped to the ground and died. Most likely died. Well, you stabbed I feel bad about that! That was like 30 years ago. I just don't feel bad about that. That's how I know I can never actually cause harm to any living thing. Because I feel bad when I do. Well, my brother did it. He kept doing it until all of them were gone. I don't even know what they were. Maybe it scared me. They, they were just there. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. <laughs> my brother was weird, so he didn't have a problem with killing things. Number one, I have a great respect for life. So I would never do anything like that. And number two, I have a guilty conscience. Just like with that bug I put the needle through that I've never forgot about, I would never be able to forget if I actually harmed a living person, human, animal, any kind of being. I would never forget that. I'd have to live with that forever. And I don't have the capability to actually deal with that well. So I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I'm crazy here on this little show, but this is different crazy. This is just a... I would never pull off anything illegal crazy. Yet. No, ever. Oh, okay. No, no blowing anything up? I'm not blowing shit up unless it's legal. Fireworks in the park. Fireworks at the beach. Fireworks. That's it. How about fireworks in the woods? Fireworks in the woods sounds dangerous because if it hasn't rained in I a just, while. I just wanted to look at the look on your face when I said it. No, I actually think these things through. I really think everything <laughs> through before I actually do it. Oh. And, and fireworks in the woods, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Accidentally, I threw fireworks on a highway overpass once. Ow. Now I just gave her pain. Are you okay? No. I threw fireworks on a highway overpass once. Wow. I just threw them up high. Why? I wasn't thinking about what was above me, what was <laughs> around me. I was with an ex-girlfriend and her brother. We were playing yeah. around with fireworks and I just took it. I just chucked it up and then I see it land on the highway overpass. And then my ex-girlfriend's brother goes, no, no, what are you doing? I'm like, I didn't mean to actually get it up there. Did, were you guys drunk? He was always drunk. He was a fucking drunk. I wasn't drunk. I'm asking if you... No! <laughs> I barely drink. See that? I barely drank in the past. I barely drink now. I'll barely drink in the future. I'm not a drinker. I do not participate in illegal drugs. I'm very clean and boring, actually. It doesn't, drink, it doesn't smoke. Once in a great while, I'll drink. No, no. On this show, once in a great while... For a wedding I'll go to, I'll drink New Year's Eve, I'll drink 4th of July, I'll drink. But even when I drink, I only get pussy drinks. Yeah, like wine coolers. <laughs> She's laughing. But you know it's true. I get women drinks. There's no hardcore alcohol flowing through this system ever. He should one day. I want to see him plastered and I will definitely tape it. Once I get drunk with an ex-girlfriend and it's the only time I really had too much to drink, I hopped up on a bed and tried to fly. You know, that was, that was it. That might work next time you come for land. <laughs> we were at a hotel. I drank a lot. I hopped up on the bed. Let's see if I can fly. But then I get down. It's not even like I have a cool story where I leapt through a window or anything. No, I just How get down off the cool? bed. I just get down off the bed. It's not even a memorable story. It's fine. Do, but you don't smoke? I don't smoke. You don't sun worship? I don't sun worship. Which brings me to another story. <laughs> I saw a friend of mine <laughs> from school. I don't even want to say who it was just in case later. Someday he, he finds this. 
But I found one of my friends from, that I grew up with in elementary school. I saw a recent picture of him. You would think the guy is Seven. my dad. Yeah. Some people age like shit. And I don't get it. I don't get it. I actually photoshopped a picture of the way he looks now with the way he looked then. I put them side by side. And I swear, it's not even the same person. He looks like his kid. That... Yeah, uh, the kid in the picture that he was looks like he's his grandfather. And then I did the same thing for me. I took a school photo, and I took a recent picture that I took about five months ago. I put them side by side. You still look like you. I think I look younger now than I did when I was in sixth grade. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck that happens. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I, it all has to do with clean living, I guess. You know, now people are going to look back at my videos, all the ones where I'm drinking, <laughs> and say, clean living, huh? Okay. But no, the thing is, that I guess the key is moderation. I don't really ever do that. It's very, very rare I do that. And it was only for, like, the taste for the video or whatever. Right. It hasn't, <clears throat> like, when the video's not going, drinking water. And but tea. some people... They really age badly. So stay out of the sun. That's one thing. I'm not outside in the sun a lot. And you wear sunblock. I do. We I wear do. sunscreen, so that's another key. You have to take care of your skin. If you don't take care of your skin, you're going to look old before your time. Another thing is don't drink. do not drink to in excess. excess. Do not do drugs. Ever. Do not smoke. You see, that's the way it is with him. This guy I'm talking about who looks like he could be my dad... He's my age, but he looks like he's 70. Yep. He probably drinks. He probably smokes. And stays out in the sun. He probably is a sun worshiper. Yep. I don't want to say he does drugs. Because you don't know that. I don't know. But the... But he could. The legal stuff. He may be shooting up all day. I don't know. How the hell do I know? I don't talk to the guy. But I'm saying, if you do these things which are known to age you, then of course you're going to look like shit when you get older. So take care of yourselves, everybody. Now, I have an anxiety disorder, and I feel like shit inside all the time. But I guess it really doesn't age me no. on the exterior. This Jay-Z crazy still looks decent, I guess. You drink plenty of water. I really don't drink that much water. You need to drink more water. She's saying I drink a lot of water, and I know that's the key to looking young. That's another key to looking young, drinking a lot, a lot of water. But I really don't drink a lot of water. You're telling people I drink a lot of water. I don't. Every time I fill up the thing for water for you and put some tea in it. I don't feel like I drink a lot of water. Well, I think more. I need to drink more. Drink more. Oh, yeah, I'll drink more. Drink more, 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 more. It's very helpful like that. She loves me. I drink lots of water. I know. That's fine. You need to drink more Okay. Okay. Well, that's what we've learned in this video. I, <laughs> I need to drink more water. I don't even remember what else we talked about. This Drunks. seems like it's been going on forever. What? Drunks and crazy random thoughts. All right. Crazy random thoughts. I would never actually pull off any crazy random thoughts. So, if you're from a police department, <laughs> if you're from a psychiatric hospital... <laughs> The there, there is no need to worry. <laughs> I'm not doing anything illegal. I am in, I am very sane. That's what he's telling you. I took an IQ test. I got 131. That just proves you're a smart, crazy person. A smart, crazy person. Where I could probably pull off something? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm still not doing it. Thank God. Either am I. My ah! craziness stops here. On this show, you'll see crazy, but you will not see me kill, maim, dismember, or any of those ugly words. What's that on your shirt? Speaking of crazy... <laughs> what do you mean, what's that on my shirt? What's that say? <laughs> Why do you have to do this? Look. What's that say on your shirt? What's that? What's that nifty logo? This is my girlfriend playing with fire. Watch how this goes, everyone. <coughs> what? What's that nifty? Just, just, just watch, okay? Talking? Just watch and observe. <laughs> because sometimes you can play around with the wrong type of person. Who actually might be crazy. We're not sure yet. What's that 
nifty logo you got going. Oh, this nifty logo is from my friend Mike's online radio station called LightFavorites.com. Awesome. Why do you ask? Oh, I just wanted everybody to be able to understand what that was. Just in case they couldn't Oh, see okay. Then, now you're okay. I thought she might pick on him. No. This, let me bring you to another subject. I have a lot to talk about now. <laughs> There's certain people in the world you don't want to play with. Because they're bored, they may have excessive time, they may feel like they have nothing in life to lose, so they'll just fuck with you because A, they're bored, two, they may have excessive time, three, because they like to fuck with you. Um, I just wanted to know so people could understand what was on your shirt. So right, but to... none of that has anything to do with what's on my shirt. No, I just wanted to know. You so know what's on my shirt. Why are you asking questions you know the answer to? Because I wanted other people to know what that was. Oh, go to Light Favorites, L-I-T-E, favorites.com. All one word. Yes. Oh, so maybe you're just being nice to Mike. Yes. Oh. Well, that's good. That'll make up for the thing you did last night. What'd he do? No, you. What'd I do? I don't know. You said... You despised eggnog and it pissed him off for some reason. Oh, it made him upset? It made him upset that you despise eggnog. I don't like the way it tastes. I know, but for some reason he took it personal. Oh, I don't mean that I despise that he brought you eggnog. I just cannot drink it. Maybe he's just upset that you don't like something he likes. Or oh. maybe he's just upset that you don't like something that he brought over. I don't know. I have no clue. Now I have to play psychiatrist. Right, I don't know why. I don't know his thought process. I don't know what's going on. All I know is you said you despise eggnog. I remember telling you the word despise is an awfully strong term for not liking eggnog. And I drink it and vomit, you know. Continue. Then he commented to me about you despising stuff. Well, it's the only one thing. And then I went back to bed. Okay, we're done here. This has been pleasant, everybody. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. How about you over there? Did you have a good time? I like lightfavorites.com. Now you're just kissing ass. No, I actually like the website. You, you like the website? Yes. Now, once have I ever seen you tune in the radio station, which is the whole purpose of the website. I don't have a radio I can do that with. You can go on Roku. I don't want You can go online oh, and listen to it. <gasps> I'm going to add it. You just told me you liked the website. Yeah, I did. When you went to the website, didn't you see that there's a button that you click to listen? Oh, yes. Oh, you saw it? Yes. And then what happened? I put my headphones on. Uh-huh. Clicked the button. Right. And was listening to very easy listening music. And then I fell asleep. I thought you just said you never listened to it. No, I never used it on the Roku. I never oh, but you've radio. listened to his radio station yeah. with headphones yes. on, curled up in a ball yes. in a corner in a dark room no. with the door closed, no, no. with the blankets over your head. No, I didn't do I understand. I didn't do that. I just sat back and listened and relaxed. That's great. It's very easy listening. I like it. There you go. It's the opposite of like rap, which I, I don't like. I like easy listening stuff. All right, can I go now? No. <laughs> you live here, so you can't. This is the video she won't let me end. <laughs> it's a good thing that YouTube pays attention to watch time now. There was a time where they only paid attention to views. Right? That's all that mattered. Now, YouTube actually checks on how long people stay tuned into your videos. And there's a whole thing going on analytics with uh, how important it is for people to stay tuned for a long time. Of course that doesn't apply to this video because everybody tuned out about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Mike will never see that you like his radio station. Mike will never hear that you've listened to his radio station. He'll never hear that you like the website lightfavorites.com. <laughs> But here we are, Boy, just sitting talking about it. You could tell him to watch the whole video. He's not watching this shit. <laughs> he's because, because he's too smart. <laughs> All 
All right, this is it. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. This has been Jay-Z Crazy. Have a good day.